Hey everyone, it's Blue Liz Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play Skyrim. As you can see, I am wearing my super fancy mage, well, archmage robes. I'm not just a mage anymore, I'm wearing archmage robes, and I'm wearing my archmage, archmage boots. Wow, why are words so difficult today? We also have Brelina, who's wearing some new fancy gear that I just pawned off on her, and she decided to wear, which is fine by me. We are running around our mage quarters, there is so much here to loot and to discover. I have my own alchemy table. I have this, I'm assuming, replenishing stock of alchemy supplies. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all the gems. We have the arcane enchanter. We have an empty case. We can put things in there. I have a mounted mud crab. Life is good. So anyway, is this Nordic barnacles? It is. How? I don't even understand how they're growing there. But anyway, I guess it's magic. We are in a mage college. So a few housekeeping things. Let's take a look. We have a few different people we have this name goes on and if you see his name on YouTube it really does go on and on B and Alexander if I said that right and, and I really did try and I practice they all mentioned that the wooden mask that I picked up does have a quest associated with it and they said I have to go back to where I found it and put it on so we are going to do that in this episode there was also XP1 HX Boyek I, I can't figure out lead speak on how to actually pronounce that, so please fill me in. He also mentioned that I should take a look at the Frostflow Abyss quest, which is in Frostflow uh, Lighthouse. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Probably not in this episode today, but he said that if you finish the quest, you actually get a boost to your healing spells. Not that I use them too often, but they can be useful. And then lastly, and this is something that I want you guys to talk about in the comments below, both Falcon Hater and B mentioned that now that I have a new webcam, I should go ahead and add my webcam over the videos. Now I've already responded to them and I said that I am actually very hesitant to do that because I'm not personally a big fan of webcam over gameplay videos. For me the webcam was for the channel updates and things of that nature as opposed to actually having my face on my videos but I would like to know what you guys think of that idea. Is that something that you'd want to see because you want to see my reactions? Or are you like me in that you just want to focus on the gameplay and the commentary as opposed to seeing, you know, I guess what I look like during the gameplay? So let me know. Let me know your comments. Um, basically, what's going to happen is I won't do it for anything that is a guide or a tutorial like the Everything Possible series that I do for Dark Souls. But it is possible that I would be willing to do it for the Skyrim video since it is a lot more kind of engaging with you guys and uh, you might want to see my reactions for some of the events that we run into. So let me know. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Hmm. I hope they're gloves. My hands are freezing. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say just that he was a friend of yours. Uh, I don't really have too many friends. Okay. Well, uh, who sent me a letter? That was nice of them. A letter from a friend. Chris Lena. You caused a bit of stir in the Hall of Elements when you demonstrated the power of your thume. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Valenrund. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. Ominous. But we'll probably get on that at one point. So here's how the series is going to look for the next few episodes. Right now, like I said, we're going to be heading back to Labyrinthian. So we can actually put on that mask and see what happens. Where was Labyrinthian? Over here, right? That's Fallen Runes. Is that? Okay. So we're going to be heading over to Labyrinthian, put on the mask, and see what happens. But as far as other episodes are concerned, we are going to be taking a break from the major quest lines. The... Uh, we are going to be doing the Dark Brotherhood next, but we're going to be doing a few episodes focused on some quests in between. We are also going to advance the main story a little bit. Uh, just a few quests here and there, just so we can actually push that story a little. And then we will pick up with the Dark Brotherhood. And the question is going to be, am I going to join or am I going to destroy the Dark Brotherhood? And it's not going to be as simply as you guys telling me which one you want me to do. We're actually going to hold a bit of a contest. So I uh, keep your keep your eyes peeled and your ears open because I'll be announcing that contest shortly, and then we'll go from there. But we have a long run ahead of us, so I will see you guys if anything interesting happens, and if not, I'll see you at Labyrinthian. Oh, 
Okay, well that was probably the most boring run I've had. I did have to kill a couple of wolves, and uh, that was all we saw this entire run. So, let's go ahead and I believe we found the mask inside this little dome-shaped area. So let's go in. Oh, by the way, speaking of masks, so uh, Chad or Chadley had mentioned that I can wear the Morakai mask along with the Archmage robes because technically a mask should fit under the robes, and that is correct, it should. However, I do have the unofficial Skyrim patches installed, which unfortunately takes that ability away. Okay, I just ran all around this for nothing. So nothing, if I have a hood on it, nothing else on my head, not a mask, not a circlet, none of that can be added. So that is unfortunate. But here we are. This is where we picked up the dagger and the mask. Let's go ahead and put that on. I have to remember to take it off, though, since my Archmage robes are going to be very, very useful. Where is it? Wooden mask. Look at it. It's creepy, man. It's like what Jim Carrey wore in that movie. What was it called? The face covering, I think. Something like that. Alright, let's put it on. Okay. Something happened. Uh oh, what is this? Well, first off, we're gonna loot. I mean, that's a given. Oh. Is there anything here to loot? There's a master chest. But if it's anything like these urns... Oh man, really? What a chip. Okay. What, uh... Activate. You lack the required item. You lack the required item. Okay, do I lack the required... Oh, Morakai! But... Do I not want that? Lack the required item. Okay. I guess that's swell and all, but... Did this really just start a quest? Or not? Oh, I can't even leave. So, I guess I'm collecting masks. Is that is that right? So, I have Morakai's. I put that there. And I don't think I need Morakai's. And, uh... Looking a little scandalous right now, since I only have that mask on. Okay, well, I guess... I guess that's it for here. And if I just take this off, do I leave? Is that how that works? Like, if I go back to my Archmage robes? I need to do some selling. Okay, that looks exactly like what I'm doing. Okay, so I got transported into this area in either a different dimension or a different time, and it looks like I have a number of different masks to pick up. So another quest, kind of like the Daedric Artifacts one, in that I'll be just kind of going around collecting masks as I go and going back there. I have to put the wooden mask on in order to go into that sanctuary, and then I could place a mask. All right, cool. Well, with that out of the way, let's go ahead. We are going to start making our way up to High Hrothgar so we can continue the main quest because I believe the Greybeards were looking for me. So, see you when I see you. What is this guy doing here? This is Labyrinthian. Do you really want to be here right now? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Who are you delivering to? Everything in there is dead. Are you looking for Astramo? Because he's, he's very much dead. Even Morakai, I killed him too. With the help of Braylina. Alright, well, good luck. You're wasting your time. Oh, let's go ahead and map where we're going. Oh jeez, this is a this is a hike. So we are going to high Oh, that didn't go where it should have. We're going to High Frothgar. Now, I know from experience that I cannot go this way easily. In fact, I want to go around the east side, kind of near Fort Amal, but near Iverstead. There should be a path right around here that will get us up. So we're going to kind of actually head towards Iverstead first. All right, so we're on our way to Iverstead. We've just passed Fort Amal. It's a lovely day in Skyrim today, nice and... Well, I mean, it's, it's overcast, but it's still nice and bright out. We have skeevers out foraging, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, how about flamey? What's flamey? Let's do a flamey, huh? Nope, I want double. Nope, I want double. What is going on? Double cast, what's wrong with you? There it is. Oh, you beat me to it, Braylina. Well... That was overkill, if ever I've seen any.
Dark Water Pass. I don't... I don't think this is what I was looking for. It actually has a door and everything. That's... That's kind of creepy. Alright, I took a wrong turn. Oh, you know what? I can level. Let's level. While we're here, let's level up. Find the waterfall. Oh, and even 400 Magicka? Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, we're almost level... Almost, almost level 20. Okay, where are we at with our magic trees? Illusions at 52, Conjurations at 56. Let's see how close we are with Novice Illusion, because we do want to work on... That's Fear Spells, that's Rage Spells. Oh, that's what we want. Okay, so we're going to start going up this center tree, because we want to get to Rage so that Frenzy work on higher level opponents. So Calm now works on higher level. Well, probably not going to use Calm too much, but we're going to use it as a prereq in order to get to the Frenzy skill. Cool. Look at all these Flame Atronachs. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day to be a, to be a mage. An Archmage. Man, I gotta stop belittling myself. Imperial business. Be on your way. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with um, Imperial business. Hey, Imperials. Why uh why didn't you deal with this saber cat? Huh? Why not? Okay. Well, old Frosty will. Ooh. Frosty might get just absolutely destroyed or a uh, flame will actually get destroyed, but I don't know. They're doing a great job. Raylena, stay back. You don't want to catch on fire. What do we got? Yeah. Excellent. I don't understand how those soldiers were able to just march on by with their Stormcloak prisoner. I wonder what that Stormcloak did. Oh, look. Nurnroot. Someone, remember this location. We'll come back later for it. We probably won't. That's just Nurnroot. Am I getting close? Should I cross the stream? Oh, I should cross. No, I shouldn't. I don't have to cross the stream. Iverstead should be coming up. Hey, hey, Fox. Iron. Alright, we got a troll guarding some Nern root. Let's go ahead. Let's get the bow out. It's time. Time for us to actually assist. Hey, uh, Miss Atronach, would you mind? There you go, getting the aggro. By the way, I learned that uh, the flame Atronachs are actually women, or they're they're female. They're they have a gender. Wowzer, that was that was some shot. Excellent work. What are you? Oh, you using the ebony shield I found? How, how wonderful! How, how wonderful for you, skeleton, gold, sure. Just a oh, is a storm cloak? Yeah, you have nothing on you. Oh, actually, is this venison? Should be venison, right? And large antlers? Those aren't too common, I don't believe. Cool. We can almost make some venison vegetable stew, I think. Is this Iverstead? It is Iverstead! Alright, we made it here, and I know that... Klimic? That's a silly name. I'm going. Well, I'm not bringing them supplies, but I'm going to bring them me, and that's all they need. There's also a cave over there with some bears. Really not interested in that. See, you can see I've started the game several... T oh, crud. Oh, there's a bear here. Run away. Tactical retreat. Oh, it wasn't that tactical. It was barely tactical. That wasn't even remotely tactical. Okay, now that we've had the pleasure of running back for a second time, why don't we go ahead and get a little bit more prepared this time around. So let's get... Let's get flame out. Let's get our bow out. 
go ahead and cast Muffle just because. Whoop. Wrong. Oh, goodness. What I don't understand is the rotation of spells when it actually, like, how it prioritizes which one's going to be in the left, which one's going to be in the right. But we got Flame Out. Let's see. Can we get a drop on this bear? Maybe. Maybe we can get a good critical. Wait a minute. There's a good hit. There's another good hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to retreat. Nope. Okay, they got his attention. Watch it, Braylena. Braylena! No! Oh, there's a second bear. Guess who wasn't expecting that one? That's new. Okay, one down. Braylena, do your worst. Oh, I like it. I like the flames. I don't use destruction, but you are more than welcome to. As long as you actually hit the bear. Here we go. Excellent. Good work, team. Good work. Here we are. Climbing up to 7,000 steps, of which someone has actually counted, and there are far less than 7,000 steps. I don't know why you would actually stop and count, but hey, someone did, and I thank them. Come on, goat, I'll race you. Ready? Oh, I got stuck. Go! <laughs> You're terrible. In fact, <laughs> I'm cheating. Cheated against a goat. But I still won. I'm counting it. Okay, we have an Ice Wraith, maybe? All right, well, play match and action make quick work of you, being your arch nemesis and all. And we're gonna go ahead and try to hit it, if we can. Why are you running away? Stop. There's a good hit. All right, Braylena, I don't wanna hit you, so I'm gonna kinda come next to you while you are Blocking you with your ebony shield. Nope. Bad hit. Bad hit. Alright, I need to get that bound dagger. And soon. There we go. Is it gonna explode? I can't remember if they explode. Like the Atronax, so I should just run away from there just in case. Oh, oh man, another one? Really? Okay, we've got a few solid hits already. Now we'll just backtrack and let my army catch up. Oh, quick work of this one. Well, I said that. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, now B had also mentioned that I need to collect a few ingredients, and then he's going to tell me what to do with them. I needed void salts, I need a rune book, and then I believe a death bell? If I'm, rem if I'm remembering that correctly, I don't actually have that note in front of me. So, I'll be on the lookout for all those. I already think I have Void Salts, but Rune Books can be found just about anywhere. And uh, Death Bell, I think he mentioned I actually should have in my new quarters because of all the respawning alchemy agents. So, very cool. Why? Why is it so cloudy up here? Am I that high in elevation already? Who's this? Why are you going to see the Greybeards? Who are you? Karida. I haven't seen any wolves. I've seen ice wraiths. You keep your distance with that magic. Oh, sorry. Well, you're up to see, going up to see gray bears. They're pretty magical. But did you hear them call for the Dovahkiin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Yeah, they're they're talking about me. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Oh, I only make this trip when they call me because I'm the Dragonborn. Hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm actually not concerned with who you are. So, goodbye, Karita. Good luck. I don't know why you're just sitting in the snow, weirdo. Yeah, I see you up there. You're not fooling anyone, Mr. Troll. you gonna drop down or what oh you're gonna slowly drop so I miss my shots just over your head that's that's something new 
Braylena, are you behind me? Heck yeah, you are. With your own Atronach. Oh, love it. Look at this army building up. Nope, okay. That that was my doing. Braylena. Braylena, be careful. What? What did you just do? What did you just do? Someone explain to me, explain to me what Braylena just did that caused a massive explosion. That, that didn't even seem safe. Braylena. Braylena, I see it. We've made it. We've climbed up the not nearly 7,000 steps to get to High Hrothgar. What wonders are inside? What beauties may be hiding behind these doors? I don't think there's ever anything in this chest. Nope, it's empty. Okay, let's go talk to the Greybeards. Hey, we're here. See, look. Look what I can do. That's why you called me, right? Whoa, hey. Didn't really need to be surrounded. Could have just talked to me like normal. Dragonborn appears. This yep. In the turning of the age. Yep, I'm here. Demonstrate your unrelenting force. <laughs> I already did. I am Master Arngear. Arngear. I speak for the Greybeards. Why don't they talk? Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? You... Because you yelled to me. Yeah, there we go. Answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What's my that destiny? Is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. So you're about as useful as the Sigic Order. Right, got it. Okay, um, I just want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. Wait, I'm not the only one? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift. Akatosh? On Who's Akatosh? I should know Whether that. You are the only dragon born of Someone the explain to me who Akatosh is. not ours to know. You are the only one that has been reviewed thus far. Okay, that that's fair. I, can say. I can't get mad at that explanation. Well, I'm ready to learn. I'm a quick learner. Let's do this. You have shown that you are dragon born. Have the inborn yeah, I just yelled at you. That's how you know. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Probably. I did actually capture and uh, contain the Eye of Magnus. I don't know if you heard about that. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum. A thum. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak. The language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. That makes sense. All shouts are made up of three words of power. And as you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Okay. Master Einart will now teach you Bro, a second word in unrelenting form. Einart? This guy? Okay. Bro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus. Force to focus your thumb or chakra. Bro. Bro. Okay. Raylena, look. Come here and learn this with me. Come on. You can be a dragonborn. I'll nominate you. Hey, I'm looking at it. There we go. Yeah, I learned it. But learning a word of power is only the first step. Must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Okay. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and acknowledge. Does this not bother you? As part of your initiation, would really annoy me if someone came into my house and did that. Allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Okay. You just give me a dragon soul. You just had one bottled up, huh? Yeah, who do you want me to yell at? Braylina? 
Demonstrate your unrelenting force. Unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Can and will. Oh, this guy? No. This summon. Okay. Here we go. Let's yell at this guy. Alright, good. You want me to do that two more times? It's it's gonna work the same way. Hey. Well done. Buddy. Lori. Make another one. Oh no. It's I know it's turn. Okay. Ready? Watch this. I'm gonna yell at them. And Brilena. Ready, go. <laughs> they didn't like that. But it still worked. Still counted. Huh? How'd you like that one, Armgear? You learn quickly. I do. Alright, Wolfgar. Let's go. Brilena. Standing in a bad place. Sorry. Ooh. Good avoidance. Impressive. Thanks. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Okay, now what? You'll perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Bori, you. Let's go. You're Wolfgar. Bori, let's go. Oh, here, let me clean these up. There we go. You're welcome. Hey, could you walk a little slower? I'm extremely tired from walking all the way here from the college. No? Now you're just gonna keep it a normal pace? That's fine. Alright, Bori. Just, okay, just stare at me as we walk. That's fine. When do I get their robes? Are they as good as my Archmage robes? Oh, we're gonna do this at night? Oh, that's cool. Look at that constellation. If you trace it, it's a pig playing in the mud. I don't know the name of that, but it's a pig playing in the mud. Whirlwind. Okay. Cool wind. There it is. Let's learn it. I'm trying. There we go. Whirlwind Sprint. I like this one. I've never actually used it outside of the test, but it seems like a really fun one. And getting a bottled up Dragon Soul. Thank you for that. Now you want me to demonstrate it. Okay, well I should probably equip it. So where's my shouts? There we go, whirlwind sprint. Look at that, a slow time. We're gonna be able to use that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have to kill a dragon though to get a soul, unless they have any more bottled up souls. All right, Wolfgar, best of luck. Non-dragonborn. Okay, easy enough. Stand next to me. Got it. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through. Easy. If Wolfgar can do it, I can do it. Trust me. Well, why were you standing there? You knew what was going to happen. Aren't here. How'd I do? Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. That was this easy for every No, I'm not I'm not conceited like that. Um Yeah, let's just go. Thank you. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrab. Ustengrab. Okay. To the way of the voice. Alright. That's enough for me. Started the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Okay, so I need to get this horn. And where is that at? Ustengrav. Wait, that's Valenrund. Okay, so I'm I'm tracking the wrong quest. Let me switch quests here. And oh, so let's get rid of miscellaneous. Go up to the horn. Now let's go look at the map. And we got Ooh, okay, that's actually further than Valenrood. Wow, what's up there, huh? Up by Morthal. Oh, that's Labyrinthian, though. Wow, I just came from there. That seems rude. Okay. All right, well, what we're going to do is, I know this is a bit of a short episode. I'm still kind of playing catch-up from the YouTube shenanigans that happened last week that you guys, hopefully, by now are well aware of. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the episode here. The next episode, we will head up to... 
Uth Uthengrad? I already forget the name. But anyway, we're, we're going to go after this horn, and uh, that'll be in the next episode. So remember, let me know how you guys feel about a webcam. If it's something you want to see, if it's something that, like me, you'd rather just watch gameplay. Either way, I'm in it for you guys, so let me know what you prefer. But other than that, keep the comments coming. I will keep the notes flowing, and I will see you next time.